Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the course Management Information Systems. Today we're going to start off with the chapter 2 from module 1 overview of the information system in organizations. The chapter 2 is about how organizations use information systems. In chapter 1 we did what was information systems and why are information systems used in an organization. In the chapter, we have seen what is information systems, ke concept kya hai, what is information, what is system, information system on a whole, kya hoti hai. it's a set of correlated components that work together to achieve a certain goal. So that means the information systems collect information, data, they uh, process the data, they retrieve the data, they store the data, and they transfer the data throughout the organization. Then we looked at why information systems are used by the organizations. That is to achieve certain competitive advantages like uh, operational excellence. They want to achieve uh, 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 the customer and supplier intimacy. They want to create new products, etc., etc. After that, we looked at the different dimensions of the information systems. Just me, we saw that organization, management, and technology all work hand in hand to create a certain information systems. To create information systems within organizations, it is very, very crucial to know what the organization is all about, to know how the management works, and to know which technology is being used. So, in the first chapter, we stressed upon the impact of using information systems in an organization by knowing the organization. We stressed upon the fact that so from technology kisi organization may use career, we have to know the how and the why of using that technology. That means it's called the com information systems literacy. Not just computer literacy, but the information system literacy. Usme hamne technology ko jab dekha tha, then we studied a case study as well. Just mein UPS was using different kind of technologies to achieve certain competitive advantages. Or kya kya thi? It achieved the operational excellence by improving its business processes. It achieved uh, uh, the customer supplier intimacy by providing customers with the up-to-date information. And then it was creating a new product as well because it wanted to stay in the business and be successful. Right, then we looked at that when we are doing a business in our organization is doing a business, and there are certain effects of globalization. Even though information system was creating opportunities such as globalization, but globalization had certain challenges as well. For example, cultural challenge, ho gaya, regional challenge, ho gaya, language challenge, ho gaya, time and distance challenge. Ho gaya. So all these have an impact on the working of an information system and working of an individual when he or she wants to work in a different country setup. Then we talked about the very contemporary approach to information system was that we were talking about socio-technical uh, systems that not only we have to look at the information systems in the technical terms but we also have to look at them in the behavioral terms as well. For example, if you want to understand that an information system has to work in an organization, we not only have to work on the computer science aspect of it, not only have to work on the management side aspect of it, not only we have to work on the operational research of that information system, but we have to look at the economics of the information system. We have to look at the psychologi psychological effect of the information systems on the organization and the sociological aspect as well, that how is that information system affecting the people in the organization and how are those people affecting the system as a whole whether it's going to be profitable or not, whether it's going to make the business successful or not. When we move on to our next chapter, that is how the organization used the information systems. Okay, in this chapter, we're going to talk about the organization and information systems. That means we're going to talk about the organizational structure. When we last time the organization, then we said that organization has an impact on information system. Why? Because it has an organizational structure. There's an organization culture. There are the business processes working in it. There are the people working in the organization. All of these things have an impact on the information systems. 
So the first thing we're going to discuss here will be the organization structure and its impact on information systems, organization culture and change, how that affects the information systems and the uses of information systems. Then we're going to talk about the business processes, which are a major part of an organization, how information system changes the business processes with the help of re-engineering or continuous improvement and then what is user satisfaction and technology acceptance and how this plays a major role in setting up an information system. Later on, uh, maybe in the next lecture, we're going to study the business information systems. That means we're going to study the types of information systems uh, that are used in e-business, different kinds of information systems that are being used at the management level, then at the enterprise level and that for collaboration. Collaborative tools consortium when you're working in information systems in a different uh, organizational setup. So this is what we're going to study in the chapter two. Now let's start with the organizational, what is organization first? Organization is a form of collection of people and other resources established to accomplish a set of goals. Right, so organization here basically means that it is a system. So when we're talking about the system, we said that system has inputs, processing, and output components. Similarly, an organization, when we say that it's a system, organization has certain inputs, it has certain processing mechanisms, and it has certain outputs. So inputs, organization we have money, people, material, resources, machines, data, information, and different decisions that the um, strategic level that are made at the strategic level are the inputs of the organization and these inputs go through a certain transformation mechanism to come out as outputs and what are the outputs of the organization these are the goods or the services now these goods and services are of a relatively higher value than the inputs alone to so outputs uh, create kar rahe organization unki value inputs se zyada hoti hai so all these things are combined together these money people machines data information decisions all those all of these things combined together work collectively to achieve a certain goal and what is the goal of an organization is to give valuable service and valuable products to the customers these organizations provide value to the stakeholders, not only the customers, but the customers, suppliers, the managers, the shareholders, and the employees as well. They want the employees to work efficiently. They want, want the stakeholders to be happy. They want the managers to be, again, work in an efficient manner. And they want to obviously create better relationships with the customer and the supplier. An example, they clear there. Inputs ki or outputs ki kis tera valuable ho sakte hain. Wo humne pehle chapter mein jo dekhi thi uh, about the automatic car wash. Us mein kya tha? A dirty car was the input and a washed car was the output. Inputs aur kya kya cheeze thi along with the dirty car was the ingredients uh, like the soap and water etc. So basically your output is a washed car which is a valuable asset. Right? Which is a valuable output. And the customers are actually paying for the skills, the knowledge, the energy that is going into it to create that valuable output. Right. So the first output that you get is a wet car. Then there's another service that dries the car, spotless, no signs of endless on it. So the customers are again paying for the skills, knowledge and energy that goes into doing that. So what you are actually getting is a valuable output. So your inputs are value is not so much as a valuable output, a washed car, a dried washed car ki, uh, value. Hai. So this is how the organizations, this is just a simple example that tells you that inputs go into the system, the organization as a system, and then it gives out certain outputs. Now, how these organizations work to produce certain outputs has an effect on the information systems that are being used in it. Now, let's look at the organizational structure. Organizational structure refers to the subunits and the way they relate to the overall organization. 
جب ہم آرگنائزیشن اسٹرکچر کی بات کرتے ہیں دیٹ مینس اٹ ڈپینڈ آن دا گولز آف دا آرگنائزیشن اینڈ دا اپروچ ٹو مینجمنٹ دیٹ مینس واٹ آر دا گولز آف دا آرگنائزیشن کے وہ گولس وہ آرگنائزیشن اچیو کیا کرنا چاہ رہی ہیں اینڈ ہاؤ آر دے گوئنگ ٹو مینیج دا آرگنائزیشن دا اپروچ ٹو مینجمنٹ وچ ان ٹرن ہیز این افیکٹ آن ہاؤ اٹ ویوز اینڈ یوز دا انفارمیشن سسٹمس کہ وہ انفارمیشن سسٹم کو اس اسٹرکچر کے اکارڈنگلی کس طرح اڈاپٹ کریں گے اور کس طرح یوز کریں گے رائٹ جی فار ایگزامپل ان اے ٹریڈیشنل آرگنائزیشنل اسٹرکچر جس میں ایک ہرارکل اپروچ ہوتی ہے ٹاپ مینجمنٹ ہوتی ہے مڈل مینجمنٹ ہوتی ہے دین دا لوور مینجمنٹ آپریشنل امپلائیز دیٹ ڈو دا ڈے ٹو ڈے ورک اس میں آپ کا جو سارا سسٹم ہے دیٹ ورکس ان اے ٹریڈیشنل میکینزم دیٹ مینس That means that in a traditional organization structure, decision making is high at the topmost level and low on the lowermost level. Right? Decision making to hai wo senior management ka zada kaam hoga. Similarly, because they can do the decision making, that's why the impact on corporate goals is high again at the topmost level and also uniqueness of the problems are also high at the topmost level than at the lower level. That means decision making to hai, decision making ki authority to hai wo zada uh, top management mein ke paas hai. Similarly, because of that impact on the corporate goals is again higher on the senior management side and also uniqueness of the problems ki unko jo problems face hote hai senior management ko, that would be different as compared to the problems at the lower level jo ke routine day to day tasks ke upar kaam kar rahe hain log un employees ko problems wo routine day to day wale milenge rather than the unique problems right so when the organization is working in such a structure then that means the information system used here will be in accordance with their uh, usage and in, co- in accordance to what their what their need is right ji on the other hand when we are talking about a flat organizational structure what is a flat organizational structure means that it reduces the number of management levels and it is giving the it is giving the uh, power to the lower level to make its own decisions to control its own job and it's giving the authority so basically it means it's empowering the people at the lower level to make decisions and solve their own problems it's giving them responsibility authority and control of their own job So here, to unko, because they need to make decisions at their own level, yahaan pe lower management ko ya lower employees ko zada information chahiye. So here, the information system used would be there to provide information at the lower level as well. Right? So that people can make their own choices, people, people can uh, solve their own problems instead of going to the higher authority for permissions or any such thing ke problem ye ho gaya aur ab isko solve kis tarah karna hai. right so basically flat organization structure and traditional organization structure have the need for different kind of information systems wahan pe kisi aur tarah ka system use hoga flat organization structure mein kisi aur tarah ka use hoga that is giving information to the lower level as well because it requ- it is their requirement because they require the information to work in that system then there is another kind of organization structure that is the project and team organization structures پروجیکٹ آرگنائزیشن اسٹرکچر میں کیا اٹ سینٹر آن میجر پروڈکٹ اینڈ سروسز میجر پروڈکٹ سروسز مینس دیٹ دیر از ون کمپنی 
एंड उसने डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स क्रिएट कर दिए कोई प्रोडक्ट क्रिएट करने के लिए एंड वो बाकी सारे डिपार्टमेंट्स जो हैं वो उस प्रोजेक्ट के अंडर आ रहे हैं फॉर एग्जांपल दिस प्रोजेक्ट टीम्स कैन बी टेम्पररी और परमानेंट डिपेंडिंग ऑन देयर रोल फॉर एग्जांपल एक बेबी फूड कंपनी है और सिंपल बेबी प्रोडक्ट्स क्रिएट करने की कंपनी है तो एक प्रोजेक्ट उसका होगा फॉर क्रिएटिंग द बेबी फूड एक प्रोजेक्ट उसका होगा फॉर क्रिएटिंग द स्ट्रॉलर्स एंड द टॉयज राइट सो उस प्रोजेक्ट के अंदर देर मेड बी द मार्केटिंग डिपार्टमेंट सेल्स एरिया यूनिट वो सारी चीजें एक प्रोजेक्ट के अंदर होंगे दूसरे प्रोजेक्ट में फॉर एग्जाम्पल टॉयस वाले प्रोजेक्ट में उनका अपना एच आर अपना मार्केटिंग अपना सेल्स होगा सो दिस इज हाउ द प्रोजेक्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर वर्क एंड अकॉर्डिंगली इनका इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम वुड बी देयर टू सूट देर ओन नीड टीम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर अगेन आर सेंटर्ड ऑन वर्क टीम और ग्रुप्स जिसमें एक टीम हेड होता है एंड द टीम हेड इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू आंसर टू द टॉप मैनेजमेंट ओनली अगेन इनके लिए जो इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम होगा दैट वुड बी बेस्ड ऑन वट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड बाई ईच टीम और ईच ग्रुप टू कम्प्लीट अ सर्टन टास्क राइट जी देन वी कम टू द वर्चुअल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर और इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर लाइक द नेम इट सेल्फ मीन्स दैट they allow work to be separated in terms of location and time that means ke is organization ka uh, there might be offices yes there will be offices there but they will be uh, geographically separated geographically separated means ke koi ek country mein office hai koi dusri country mein office hai and they are all collaborating and means they are all communicating and they are working on different things but they are still in communication and this communication and collaboration will be helped with the help of it and information systems that means yahan pe jo information systems ka kaam hai wo sabse strongest hai because it has to provide a complete collaborative infrastructure and complete communicative infrastructure as well so it plays a major role in connecting such organizations jisme different groups jo hain wo different countries mein baith ke kaam kar rahe hote hain for example मेजर ऑफिस एक कंट्री में उसके सब टास्क दिए गए हैं किसी और कंट्री में बैठे हुए लोगों को कि यू हैव टू कम्प्लीट दिस सच टास्क यू हैव टू गिव इट टू देंट्रल कंपनी एंड देन वो आगे वो टास्क किसी और कंपनी को देंगे फॉर द नेक्स्ट सब टास्क जो उसका होगा उसके साथ जोड़ने के लिए उसको सो दिस इज हाउ द वर्चुअल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्क दैट आपके जो यूनिट्स हैं दे आर डिवाइडेड इन अ जियोग्राफिकल लोकेशन ऑब्वियसली जब आप एक जगह से दूसरी जगह पे सब टास्क शिफ्ट करेंगे विद इन कंट्रीज तो कंट्रीज हैव टाइम डिफरेंसेस एज वेल सो दिस इज हाउ दे वर्क एक जगह पे अगर लोग सो रहे हैं तो दूसरी जगह पे वो सारा काम कंपाइल हो रहा है एंड देन जो ही सुबह वो उठ रहे हैं तो उनको सुबह सुबह वो सब चीजें मिल रही हैं सो इन दिस वे मोस्ट ऑफ द कंपनीज बेसिकली रिड्यूस द कॉस्ट इज वेल बिकॉज दे गिव सर्टन वर्क टू एरियाज वेयर द कॉस्ट आर लो दे डोट हैव टू पे दैट मच और काम भी हो जाए विदाउट मच प्रॉब्लम ठीक है जी सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर के अकॉर्डिंगली डिफरेंट इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम आर सेटअप फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर हम बहुत ज्यादा कम्युनिकेशन कर देंगे इन द प्रोजेक्ट एंड टीम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर तो दैट वुड बी यूजलेस बिकॉज इतनी ज्यादा कम्युनिकेशन डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स के दरमियान लोगों को नहीं चाहिए फॉर एग्जाम्पल बिटवीन वन प्रोजेक्ट टू अनदर प्रोजेक्ट इतनी कम्युनिकेशन नहीं चाहिए जितना एक वर्चुअल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर में चाहिए सो इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन वट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर इज एंड वट देर नीड्स आर वेन यू आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम देर सो इट्स ऑलवेज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड द स्ट्रक्चर फर्स्ट देन वी टॉक अबाउट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल कल्चर एंड चेंज वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सिंपल कल्चर दैट मीन्स दैट इज अ सेट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड एजाम्शन दैट belong to a certain group right ji for example hamara culture acha kisi ke ghar jate hain they serve you some kind of drink for example coke serve ki seven up serve ki ya chai serve ki kahi aur culture hai ki if you go to their place for example bahar ke mulkon mein they don't serve you coke or anything they serve you another kind of drink so it depends on the culture that uh, what is being done within a group or a society ठीक है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर अगेन इज अ सेट ऑफ मेजर अंडरस्टैंडिंग्स एंड एजम्पन दैट आर शेयर बाय अ ग्रुप फॉर बिजनेस और ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट 
اس آرگنائزیشن میں اس طرح کے کام ہوں گے اس آرگنائزیشن میں اس طرح کے کام ہوں گے اور اس طرح کا کلچر ہے فور اگزامپل سم آرگنائزیشن می ہیو دا کلچر دیٹ از ڈیولپڈ اوور ٹائم آن دیئر اون یا سم ٹائمس اس طرح بھی ہوتا ہے کہ کوئی اگر نیو مینجمنٹ آئی ہے تو دے ہیو دے اون سیٹ آف کلچر جو وہ امپلیمنٹ کرنا چاہتے ہیں ٹھیک ہے کچھ کلچر جب ہم آرگنائزیشن کلچر کی بات کرتے ہیں تو وی سی اٹس انڈرسٹینڈنگ اینڈ ایگزامشنس بٹ دے آر ناٹ آلویز ڈاکیومینٹیڈ اس طرح پیپر کے اوپر کوئی ایسے رولس نہیں لکھے ہوتے کہ یہ کام اس طرح ہوگا یا آپ نے اس طرح کے ڈریس کوڈ پہنے لیکن کچھ آرگنائزیشنز ہوتی ہیں جو اپنا ایک کلچر بناتی ہیں فار ایگزامپل دے گیو یو ڈریس کوڈ یا پھر وہ ایک پالیسی رکھ دیتے ہیں کیجول فرائیڈے کی پالیسی کہ باقی سارے دن آپ فارمل ڈریسنگ میں ہوں گے لیکن فرائیڈے کو آپ کیجول ڈریسنگ کر سکتے ہیں جینس پہن سکتے ہیں شلوار قمیض پہن سکتے ہیں دیز کائنڈ آف تھنگس سو اٹ ڈپینڈس آن ڈفرینٹ آرگنائزیشن کہ ان کے کلچر کس طرح ڈیولپ ہوئے ہیں اوور ٹائم ہوئے ہیں یا پھر وہ اسپیسیفکلی امپلیمنٹ کیے گئے ہیں سو بیسیکلی وین یو ٹاک اباؤٹ آرگنائزیشن کلچر اٹ از کامن بلیو اٹس ویلیوز اینڈ اپروچز ٹو ڈیسیزن میکنگ اینڈ ہاؤ دا پیپل آر ڈوئنگ سرٹن ٹاسک فار ایگزامپل ایک آفس میں یہ کلچر ہے دیٹ سم انوینٹری رپورٹ ہیز ٹو بی میڈ آن فرائیڈے بفور ٹین اے ایم یہ ان کا ایک ان ڈاکیومینٹیڈ رول ہے ٹھیک ہے کچھ آرگنائزیشن میں اس طرح ہوتا ہے سو وین نیو انفارمیشن سسٹمس آر امپلیمنٹیڈ ان ٹو سچ کلچرز دے ایٹ ٹائمز ڈو کانفلکٹ ود این انفارمل رول سچ از دیٹ کہ دس بجے سے پہلے انوینٹری رپورٹس کمپلیٹ ہونا چاہیے فار ایگزامپل انفارمیشن سسٹم جو ہے وہ کاسٹ ڈیڈکشن کے لیے ایک ایسا آٹومیٹڈ پروسیجر کریٹ کر رہا ہے کہ جو انوینٹری رپورٹس ویکینڈ کے اوپر اوور دا ویکینڈ کمپائل ہو رہی ہیں سو دیٹ مائنڈ کنفلکٹ ود دا آئیڈیا آف دا مینجمنٹ کہ نہیں رپورٹس تو فرائیڈے کو کمپلیٹ ہو جانی چاہیے وائی آر دا بینگ ٹیکن آن ٹو دا ویکینڈ رائٹ جی سو دیر آر سرٹن تھنگس دیٹ ڈیفینیٹلی کنفلکٹ ود a certain culture, a certain assumption or a certain understandings that already prevail in, a, in an organization. That certain things have to be done in this way. Why are they being done this way now? Okay? So that's why organizational culture affects the development and the operation of the information systems. When you are implementing the information uh, systems in an organization, the uska culture jo hai, wo bahut zyada effect karta hai about how the information system کو وہ پرسیو کس طرح کریں گے اینڈ ہاؤ آر دے گوئنگ ٹو یوز اٹ رائٹ دی فار اینڈ دین وی گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا آرگنائزیشنل چینج چینج مینس ہاؤ ڈفرینٹ کائنڈ آف آرگنائزیشن دا فار پروفٹ اینڈ نان پروفٹ آرگنائزیشنس پلان فار امپلیمنٹ اینڈ ہینڈل چینج دیٹ مینس کہ آرگنائزیشن کو جب آرگنائزیشن میں جب چینج آتا ہے تو وہ کس طرح اس کو ہینڈل کرتے ہیں It's, it's not always easy to uh, handle any resistance to the change that comes in an organization, right? Because there are two kinds of cha changes, basically sustaining change or disrup disruptive change. Sustaining changes means that uh, this, uh, there is some new technology coming into the system and the, that technology is sustaining the system. It is productive for the system. The business is doing, um, is productive. It's successful after implementing it. For example, this drives banana ka koi tarika tha and the company implemented a new mechanism or uh, implemented new machinery for creating the disk drives. So that means it is an, a productive way of doing things. It is sustaining the business. It is cu cutting costs. While on the other hand, there might be certain technologies that will be dis disruptive for the system. That might be disruptive for the business that technology yeah so it would be so radical it would be so new and if the uh, management is not ready to accept it that means it becomes disruptive for the system the people will be hesitant in using that kind of system the people will uh, at times sabotage the system as well they won't with they will not be happy to accept the technologies because sometimes you think of new technologies a company may ask you so people are used to the older ways of doing things so when the new technology comes in there's a certain pressure on the people to use that new technology and especially when they're not ready for it the first uh, employees or they will resist cutting of change go they don't want to comply to the newer technologies they don't want to uh, 
take that in unless and until ke ek proper change ko implement kiya gaya ho. So that's why it's always difficult to uh, handle the resistance to change but there are certain ways of doing that. If you handle the change properly, then that means that your change will be implemented properly and that your information system will be implemented properly. So, that means that mm, because of uh, the structure of the organization, because of the culture of the organization, change has to go through a certain process. Right, Ji. Now, what are the things that make the change be acceptable is organization run, learning. Organization learning refers to adapting to new conditions or altering the practices over time. Either the company adapts to the new conditions in a proper manner or alters the practices over a certain period of time. It has to happen gradually. So that means there are certain adjustments that need to happen that are based on the experiences and ideas of the management and the employees. They have to work together to achieve that, to accept that change. Right, because this disruptive change can be very lethal and because it can put the businesses out of work or the organizations uh, out of business, then that means that it's important that the organization goes through the organizational learning process. That means it provides training, it provides learning, and provides proper planning to implement a certain change. I could say companies ke example they say that have completely redefined their system or redefined how the businesses work. For example, we have a company called Kodak. Kodak kya hai? Ek film developing company hai. Film based cameras, film rolls, negatives through negatives Kodak or vote develop negatives. But with the advent of digital photography, this company came into problems because it was just a simple film developing company. In Kepasto digital photography equipment. So what they said, did was, they initially foresee that the industry is changing now. The photography industry is changing now. Now it is a um, era of uh, digital photography and digital ph photographic equipment as well. So what they did was that they completely changed or redefined their business. And the first thing that they did was they created their web presence. And not only that, that online loan could provide career and digital services. They started providing them digital photographic services. They provided them with um, uh, photographic cameras as well. Dis dis digital cameras provide and other kind of services that are related with the digital photography. So that means they completely reinvented their own business. They went to a complete change process and implemented it in a successful manner so that they are now a su successful Kodak digital photography company. Right? Uh, and because of that, uh, the, the company goes through a certain change. That means they have to hire new people. They have to cut down certain staff as well. Right? For example, in the web presence of M9, so obviously in the company mein originally to SLO honge that would be working on certain on the web development. So they had to hire people to work on the web development. They had to hire people who could digitally alter the photographs. Right? So this is how the company changed it itself that pele foresee currently that the industry is going in this direction and then start implementing the change slowly and slowly and then start creating new products gradually. Right? The other company is about the Time magazine. Time Magazine was a simple magazine publishing company, right? It was very good, Time Magazine. But now the trend is slightly changing. People are moving towards more, more towards the digital media. For example, they're moving towards uh, web, uh, news, internet on, news, TV, news, there are plenty of news channel, channels coming up. And magazines are very low. So, what Again, this time incorporated saw that the industry is changing again. So what they did was they reinvented or redesigned the whole company again. So now they're not only a web 
they are not only a magazine publishing company, they have their impact on the paper, they are publishing the magazine as well as they have the presence on the television and presence on the web as well. So they are putting the news items, their articles, everything on the web. Okay, that means they are putting it on the internet, world wide web, internet ki par so that if people want to look, uh, look at things on the internet, to go internet pe dekh le, kuch articles if you want to go into detail, they can obviously buy the magazine. And also they are working on their TV channel as well. So that means they want to utilize the new technologies that are in demand and that the customers want. Again, this company reinvented itself, redesigned itself, reinvented the whole information system and the way uh, the organization works based on the fact that it wanted to survive in the industry. So this is how, these are the two examples of how, uh, how organizations basically change uh, the way they work. Their structure change, their culture alters, alter the way their business processes work. And they, because they want to achieve the competitive advantages, because they want to survive in the industry, they, because they want their uh, businesses to be productive, that's why they go through certain changes. Because new technologies again put pressure on the people to adapt itself, the organization to adapt itself. Right, so there, when there are certain people, certain employees who are not ready to accept it, then they will suffer. Because uh, the, the technology is always changing and it's up to the organizations that they employees ko kis train employees for that gradual um, improvement in the technologies. Now, in order to operate, the organization deal with plenty of information about uh, the suppliers, the customers, the inventory, uh, the different machines that are working here, the payments and all these things and the organizations need to organize uh, all this flow of information. Okay? So they need to organize the activities that are going on and since the organization's goal is to produce valuable outputs, so they need to organize the set of activities that produce those outputs. And that is called a business process. It's basically a collection of those activities that are required to produce a certain product or service. You see, a collection of activities hai jo ke ek product ko create karne ke liye use ho raha. And, uh, and this process uh, or set of activities it is supported by flows of materials or information and knowledge. All of these things are combined together Okay, we talked about the organization ke goods create karne ki baat ki thi. input, hai, processing, ho hai, output. Ho hai. So that processing, kuch ho hai, that is called a business process. Okay, which set of activities are which output ko create karne mein madad kar hai. So those set of activities can be a part of another set of activities. So this is how the business process ke andar chote chote business processes ho sakte hain. So, so because these are the key uh, element of an organizational working, that's why it's very important to know how a business process works. So uh, the performance of businesses basically depend on the business processes. If you understand that a business process is working, then you will be able to be understand that how you're going to implement the information system in the business, in an organization, so that their business process improve. If the business process is working in a way and you are questioning it that why is this business process working this way, then you, are, you will be able to understand that this is why it's working and this is why it's, it needs to be changed or this is why it needs to be automated or anything like that. So basically, you have two kinds of business processes that you have studied in your subject in your course. For, number one is the functional business processes. That means they are tied to a specific functional area. For example, sales or marketing, hai, human resources. Hai. If sales or marketing may to function uh, business processes, hai, wo kya ho sakte hai? they identify the customers, they, uh, they market the product, and they sell the product. Okay? So these are the kind of functions that are happening within that functional area. Okay? Marketing may kaam ho rahe wo cross uh, uh, department. Nahi ja rahe. Then there are the cross-functional business processes, that means they cross different functional areas and require coordination across different departments. 
ठीक है तो आप एक सेल्स और मार्केटिंग की बात करें कि वो कस्टमर्स आइडेंटिफाई कर रहे हैं प्रोडक्ट को मार्केट कर रहे हैं प्रोडक्ट को सेल कर रहे हैं दिन दैट मीन्स इट्स ओनली पार्ट ऑफ द मार्केटिंग एंड सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज का फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्या जॉब होगी विद इन द फंक्शनल एरिया वुड बी दैट दे आर हायरिंग एम्प्लॉयज दे आर एसेसिंग द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द एम्प्लॉयज एंड दे आर गिविंग पेमेंट टू द एम्प्लॉयज ठीक है सच सच लाइक दीज देन अगेन दे आर नॉट ओवरलैपिंग डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट दीज फंक्शन आर नॉट ओवरलैपिंग डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट दे आर पार्ट ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट क्रॉस फंक्शनल बिजनेस प्रोसेसेज में there is requirement of a coordination between different departments example dekh lete hain ek for example we have this order fulfillment process ab yahan pe maine teen cheeze define ki hain for example sales mein jab ek order aata hai customer ka to wo kya karte hain order generate karte hain aur submit kar dete hain order theek hai accounting department kya kar raha hai jo bhi order aa raha hai usko check kar rahe hain ki either the person who is ordering it has enough sufficient cash or not credit hai uske paas ke nahi they check the credit they approving the credit sahi hai sab kuch and then they are generating the invoice the accounting wale ke kaam manufacturing and production are assembling the product and shipping the product now here you can see that ye wale jo sare kaam hai ye functional kaam hai but these departments are interrelated they are coordinating as well because once sales department ne order generate or submit wahan pe order ho gaya then they are telling the accounting department ke wo uh, order ko check kare aur approve kare theek hai credit ko check kare approve kare and once the credit has been approved again tab wo information ja rahi hai manufacturing and production ko ke credit approve ho gaya ab aap wo product assemble karke शिफ्ट कर दें एंड वंस द प्रोडक्ट हैज बीन शिफ्ट अगेन द इन्फॉर्मेशन गोज बैक टू द अकाउंटिंग डिपार्टमेंट दैट द प्रोडक्ट हैज बीन शिफ्ट आप इन वॉइस जनरेट कर दें एंड देन दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन अगेन गोज टू द सेल्स डिपार्टमेंट वहां पे दैट अब ये सेल हो गया द इन वॉइस हैज बीन जनरेटेड शिपमेंट चली जा चुकी है नाउ यू कैन प्लीज प्रोवाइड दम विद कस्टमर सपोर्ट राइट दैट अगर उनको प्रोडक्ट नहीं मिल रहा देन यू हैव टू टेल दम टेल अस अगेन ठीक है या फिर वारंटी इश्यूज हैं वो आप डील करें अगेन सो दिस मीन्स दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन इज गोइंग टू एंड फ्रो फ्रॉम ऑल दीज डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड दे आर कोऑर्डिनेटिंग व्हेन दे आर गोइंग थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑर्डर फुलफिलमेंट ऑफ अ कस्टमर ठीक है सो दिस इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ अ क्रॉस फंक्शनल बिजनेस प्रोसेस दैट दैट इज क्रॉसिंग द डिपार्टमेंट्स ऑफ द सेल्स दैट इज मार्केटिंग एज वेल एज मैन्युफैक्चर एंड प्रोडक्शन ठीक है ऑर्डर आ रहा है सेल्स वाले डिपार्टमेंट में वो सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन जा रही है आफ्टर क्रॉसिंग थ्रू द अकाउंटिंग थ्रू द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट बिकॉज द कस्टमर इज ऑर्डर्ड अ सर्टेन प्रोडक्ट एंड इट वांट्स दैट प्रोडक्ट टू बी शिफ्ट टू शिफ्ट टू इट्स प्लेस ऑल्सो यहाँ पे यूपीएस और फेडेक्स जैसी कंपनी के साथ भी कोआर्डिनेशन आ जाता है बिकॉज ऑफ द कंपनी वॉन्ट्स टू शिफ्ट द प्रोडक्ट दे हैव टू कॉन्टैक्ट विद सर्टन आउटसाइड कंपनी हु वुड बी प्रोवाइडिंग द पैकेज डिलीवरी सर्विसेज ठीक है जी सो दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ क्रॉस फंक्शनल बिजनेस प्रोसेस और यहाँ पे अगेन ए कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टम आएगा वेन यू आर डीलिंग विद द इन्फॉर्मेशन हेयर एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन इज गोइंग टू एंड फ्रो अब इसमें क्या हो सकता है दैट प्रॉबेबली आपका जो क्रेडिट चेकिंग फेसिलिटी है या जनरेटिंग इन वॉइस वाली काम है दैट इज बींग ऑटोमेटेड so basically what seemed simple at first is complex and it requires information transfer through different departments so now the question is that how do the information technology improves these business processes like i said before jab hum ye uh, cross functional uh, business process ki baat kar rahe the then we said that one way of doing it is to automate certain of these tasks for example credit checking ya uh, generating invoice एक तरीका ये हो सकता है टू ऑटोमेट दीज टास्क अनदर वे वुड बी टू कम्प्लीटली चेंज द फ्लो ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट मीन्स कुछ टास्क ऐसे कर दें कि दे आर परफॉर्म साइमल्टेनियसली सो दैट मीन्स दैट दैट वुड एलिमिनेट द डिलेज इन डिसीजन मेकिंग ठीक है एंड ऑल्सो रिड्यूस सर्टन कॉस्ट सो इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी की मदद से यू कैन आई दर चेंज द होल फ्लो ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन द वे द बिजनेस प्रोसेस वर्क एंड 
uh, by doing that you can allow the system to do certain tasks simultaneously and thus in return th that is going to uh, cut down the uh, delaying process and it's going to cut down certain costs as well. So it's al always very important to analyze the business processes before trying to improve them using the IT for better efficiency and effectiveness. So again, when we talked about the first that you have to know about the organization, its structure, uh, its culture, its people and also its business processes because organization has a major function that is how it coordinates these work activities and how it uses these materials and the mechanisms and as well as information and knowledge to achieve a certain product. So the crucial part here is the business process. Until the business process will improve, your information system can't be implemented in a way. Because these business processes, uh, when the information technology has uh, come into these business processes to improve them, they have brought in drastic changes in the way, in the way the organizations do business. For example, a major example of the past of teasing download Karniki. You download music, you download ebooks to read them instead of uh, buying books, you download music instead of buying CDs or cassettes or anything like that. Tika, for example, you have Apple ke iTunes ke example. Hai. That is a complete different reinvented business model. Tika? So in this way, the different organizations have changed their business models by implementing the IT that in fact they have used the IT to help change their business processes. So when we talk about changing the processes, there are two things here basically. Pehli cheez kya hai? Re-engineering, do cheez hai, ek re-engineering, ek continuous improvement hai. Re-engineering, either business process re-engineering kya hai isko, ya process redesign kya hai, ya re-engineering kya hai, it's it involves the radical redesign of the business processes. So basically, these organizations make fundamental changes in how they do businesses. For example, in radical design may involve what their organizational structure. They might change the organizational structure. They might change the information system that is probably al already working there. They might change the values of the organization to achieve breakthrough achievement. That means when they implement this uh, business process uh, re-engineering, that means wo radical change implement kare. They're changing the fundamental ways they do things. That means they are questioning their business processes that are already working there. That means, the, uh, that, that means when we talked about in the last chapter that the managers need to be creative to create new services. So that means they need to be creative to question the way the things are being done. If there is some work that is like it is a benefit of giving it and it is a benefit of business, then that means that business process needs to be questioned and it needs to be changed at the fundamental level. Okay? What is the benefit of business process re-engineering? It reduces the delivery time, it increases the product and service quality and also it challenges the fundamental assumptions and rules that are prevalent in the organization. And it brings a drastic change, it brings a breakthrough of uh, improvement. But it is risky and if it is not implemented with proper planning and uh, thoughtfulness, then that means it can be a disruptive change and it can be problematic for the organization. Or business or it is not implemented in a way that means that it will be a reverse effect of technology use. Karne ka. It won't be productive but it will be destructive. So that means business process reengineering, where it is very productive and it brings drastic changes and it is highly productive in certain aspects, but it is highly risky as well. Take a big through performance here, but it's risky. It's the both competitive companies you can cut there or both so so much can you can cut there. You can say for both our sisters is clearly a plan cut there to plan the change and to accept the change so that they don't have any problems now. Whereas on the other hand, before we move on to the continuous improvement, let's look at the certain rules which we have talked about that your business process re-engineering is a fundamental rule. There are certain rules in the company at times 
کوئی اس طرح کا بزنس پروسیس ہو رہا ہے دیٹ از وینگ ڈاؤن دا ورکنگ آف دا کمپنی جو کہ آرگنائزیشن نے بنایا اس لیے تھا ان کے مائنڈ نے یہ پرسیو کیا تھا پرابلی اٹس گوئنگ ٹو بی بینیفیشل اینڈ افیکٹیو فار ایگزامپل رول ون ہے ہولڈ اسمال آرڈرز انٹل فل ٹرک لوڈ شپمنٹس کین بی اسمبلڈ مطلب کہ کوئی چھوٹے آرڈرز ہیں وہ اس وقت تک نہ شپ کریں جب تک کہ آپ کا ایک فل ٹرک لوڈ نہیں آ رہا اور زیادہ چیزیں اس میں نہیں آ رہی سو دیٹ مینس وہ شپمنٹ آپ روک دیں وہ والے آرڈرز تھوڑے ڈیلے سے آئیں گے چھوٹے آرڈرز کیا کرنا چاہ رہی تھی کمپنی ٹو ریڈیوس دا ڈلیوری کاسٹ ٹھیک ہے وہ اپنی ڈلیوری کاسٹ بچانے کے لیے دے ور ہولڈنگ دا آرڈرز انٹل کہ پورا ٹرک لوڈ ایک بھر نہیں جاتا بٹ دا پوٹینشیل پرابلم ہیئر واز دا کسٹمر ڈلیوری از سلو اینڈ دس ان ریٹرن دیر از اے لاسٹ ان سیلس کسٹمرس تو یہ پرسیو کر رہے ہیں کہ انہوں نے آرڈر تو ہفتے دو ہفتے پہلے دیا تھا لیکن وہ ان کو اتنے لیٹ کیوں مل رہا ہے چھوٹی سی چیز ہے اتنی لیٹ کیوں مل رہی ہے ٹھیک ہے سو دیٹس وائی دے ہیو اے پرابلم ہیئر اگین نیکسٹ رول از ڈو ناٹ ایکسیپٹ این آرڈر انٹل کسٹمر کریڈٹ از اپروڈ آرڈر وہ اس وقت تک بک نہیں کریں گے جب تک کہ کریڈٹ نہیں اپروو ہوگا پرابلی وہ کریڈٹ اپروو ہونے میں ٹائم لگ رہا ہے دیٹ مینس ریڈیوز پوٹینشیل آف بیڈ ڈیپٹ مطلب یہ کہ ان کا خام خواہ جو ایک آرڈر ہے وہ ایک سائڈ پہ بک نہیں ہو رہا ٹھیک ہے سو دیٹ بک اس لیے نہیں ہو رہا بیکاز دے ڈونٹ وانٹ ٹو بک اٹ ٹھیک ہے پرابلی کوئی اور کسٹمر اس وقت آ رہا ہے اور وہ اس کو بک کرنا چاہ رہا ہے اس کا کریڈٹ اپروو ہو رہا ہے ٹھیک ہے دیٹس دس واز دیئر انیشیل انٹینشن بٹ دے تھنگ کسٹمر از تھنگ دیٹ دیئر سروس از پور کہ جب تک کریڈٹ نہیں اپروو ہو رہا وہ اس آرڈر کو اوکے نہیں کر رہے اگین ریزلٹ کے آرڈر لاس سیلز ہو رہی ہیں تھرڈ رول مے بی دیٹ دا دے آر لیٹنگ دا ہیڈ کوارٹر میک آل دا مرچنڈائزنگ ڈسیزنس ٹھیک ہے خریداری کی جو مرچنڈائز کر رہے ہیں وہ سارے ڈسیزنس ٹاپ لیول کے پاس ہیں دیٹ مینس دے آر دے وانٹ ٹو ریڈیوسڈ نمبر آف آئٹمس کیریڈ ان دا انوینٹری انوینٹری میں وہ زیادہ آئٹمس نہیں ڈالنا چاہ رہے دیٹ واز دیئر اوریجنل آئیڈیا بٹ ہو کیا رہا ہے کسٹمرز پرسیو آرگنائزیشن ہیز لمیٹیڈ پروڈکشن پروڈکٹ سلیکشن دیٹ مینس دا آرگنائزیشن تھنگس کہ ان کے پاس کم پروڈکٹ سلیکشن ہے اینڈ دیٹ از اگین کریٹنگ اے لاسٹ ان سیئرس کسٹمرز اگر نہیں خوش ان سارے رولس کی وجہ سے دیٹ مینس کہ اس کمپنی کے یا اس آرگنائزیشن کے جو پروڈکٹ ہیں ان کی سیلز کم ہو رہی ہیں سو دس از دس واز اے سمپل ایگزامپل آف دا رولس دیٹ آر پرووائڈ بائی دا کمپنی ود دا اوریجنل انٹینشن دیٹ دے وانٹ ٹو ریڈیوس سرٹن کاسٹ اور ریڈیوس سرٹن ٹائم ڈلیوری ٹائم سچ تھنگز لائک دیٹ لیکن کسٹمر اینڈ کے اوپر اس کا کیا امپیکٹ ہو رہا ہے اٹ ہیز اے بیڈ امپیکٹ ایٹ دا کسٹمر اینڈ وچ از ان ریٹرن گیونگ دم اے لاسٹ آف لاس ان سیلس ٹھیک ہے جی نا لیٹس موو آن ٹو اگین جو میں نے بات کی تھی کہ دو طریقے ہوتے ہیں ایک کمپنی کو چینج امپلیمنٹ کرنے کے دیٹ از ری انجینئرنگ اینڈ کانٹینیوس امپروومنٹ کانٹینیوس امپروومنٹ مینس دیٹ وی آر کانسٹنٹلی سیکنگ ویز to improve business processes and adding value to product and services. Okay? Constantly seek ways means that a uh, organization may a radical change. Nahi aara. Change is coming slowly, a gradual way. Mein aara, okay? They're constantly uh, a product, ko, for example, improve kar hai, slowly, slowly karke improve, kar hai, gradually improve. Kar hai, okay? For example, but this kind of um, uh, change that this uh, happens within a certain unit or within about a certain product, okay? We complete organization ko affect nahi kar raha. Okay? Pe, I've given uh, a chart here that differentiates between the business process re-engineering and the continuous improvement. Let's have a look at it. Differences kya hai in me? Number one is uh, business BPR. I, I'd, I'd call this BPR. Strong action taken to solve serious problems. That means strong action, a radical action, uh, le hai, a organization ke serious problems ko solve ke nikle. That means koi bhoat bada problem aara organization ko ya koi unka rule ek istara bana hai that needs to be fundamentally changed. This, this, that is when you are implementing the BPR here. Continuous improvement kyun ka rahe hai? It's a simple routine action taken to make minor improvements. Product mein choti si improvements karne ki wajah se they are gaining the loyalty and the acceptance from the customers. 
ठीक है कोई बहुत ज्यादा प्रॉब्लम नहीं आ रहा माइनर प्रॉब्लम है दैट्स वाई दे गोइंग थ्रू अ कॉन्टिन्यूस इम्प्रूवमेंट राइट जी नेक्स्ट डिफरेंस इज टॉप डाउन चेंज ड्रिवन बाय सीनियर एग्जेक्टिव एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड कॉन्टिन्यूस इम्प्रूवमेंट में इज अ बॉटम अप चेंज ड्रिवन बाय वर्कर्स टॉप डाउन चेंज मीन्स सीनियर मैनेजमेंट जो है वो ये डिसीजन ले रही है दैट सर्टन चेंज हैज टू हैपन कॉन्टीन्यूस इम्प्रूवमेंट में एक डिपार्टमेंट में फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट है वहाँ के मैनेजर्स ने यह डिसाइड किया दैट अ सर्टन प्रोडक्ट नीड्स टू बी स्लाइटली ऑल्टर्ड फॉर बेटर पर्पजेज और टू रिड्यूस सर्टन कॉस्ट ठीक है सो दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ सर्टन स्मॉल चेंज दैट इज ड्रिवन बाय वर्कर्स राइट जी बी पी आर इज ब्रॉड इन स्कोप एंड कट्स अक्रॉस डिपार्टमेंट्स अगेन बिजनेस प्रोसेस री इंजीनियरिंग में आपका पूरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो है वो इफेक्ट होती है एंड इट कट्स अक्रॉस द डिपार्टमेंट्स मीन सारे डिपार्टमेंट्स इफेक्ट होते हैं ठीक है बिकॉज यू आर चेंजिंग द फंडामेंटल वर्किंग ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉन्टीन्यूस इम्प्रूवमेंट इज नैरो स्कोप उसका स्कोप कम है एंड इट फोकस ऑन द टास्क इन अ गिवन एरिया कोई एक टास्क होगा उसको इम्प्रूव करने का एक छोटा सा काम होगा ग्रेजुअल इम्प्रूवमेंट ठीक है बी पी आर का गोल इज टू अचीव अ मेजर ब्रेक थ्रू कॉन्टीन्यूस इम्प्रूवमेंट का गोल इज ग्रेजुअल इम्प्रूवमेंट बी पी आर ऑफन लीड्स इज ऑफन लेड बाय आउटसाइडर्स आउटसाइडर्स मीन्स के कंसल्टेंट्स होंगे दै वुड बी कमिंग इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू हेल्प एनालाइज द ऑलरेडी वर्किंग बिजनेस प्रोसेस एंड इम्प्लीमेंट अ सर्टन इन टेक्नोलॉजी और इम्प्लीमेंट द इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम टू हेल्प द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉन्टीन्यूस इम्प्रूवमेंट जो है दैट इज यूजली लेड बाई वर्कर्स क्लोज टू द बिजनेस नाइन मीन्स जो उस बिजनेस को या प्रोडक्ट डेवलपमेंट का जिसको जो भी वो काम कर रहे हैं सब टास्क में उसको समझते हैं उसको वो किस तरह इम्प्रूव कर सकते हैं दैट इज डन बाय दम कोई आउटसाइडर आके इम्प्रूवमेंट नहीं करता बी पी आर में इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम्स आर इंटेग्रल टू द सोल्यूशन वेन यू आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द बिजनेस प्रोसेस री इंजीनियरिंग तो आई टी बहुत ज्यादा इन्वॉल्व होती है इसमें इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम्स जो हैं वो बहुत ज्यादा इन्वॉल्व होते हैं इनफैक्ट दैट इज द इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ अ बिजनेस प्रोसेस री इंजीनियरिंग दैट यू आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन सच अ वे दैट इट इट इज इम्प्रूविंग नॉट ओनली इम्प्रूविंग बट इट्स रेडिकली चेंजिंग द वे द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डू बिजनेस ऑन द अदर हैंड इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम इन द कॉन्टीन्यूस इम्प्रूवमेंट इज ओनली देयर टू प्रोवाइड गाइड टू द इम्प्रूवमेंट टीम ठीक है डेटा प्रोवाइड कर रहा है इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम कि ये वाली चीज़ें उनको चाहिए ये वाली इंफॉर्मेशन इनको चाहिए एक छोटी सी चीज़ को इम्प्रूव करने के लिए एक छोटे से प्रोसेस को इम्प्रूव करने के लिए या एक प्रोडक्ट को इम्प्रूव करने के के लिए सो दीज आर द थिंग्स सो दीज आर द फ्यू डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन द बी पी आर एंड कॉन्टीन्यूस इम्प्रूवमेंट कि बी पी आर इज कम्प्लीट रेडिकल चेंज इसमें हाई लेवल पर इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम इन्वॉल्व होता है वेर एज इन कंटिन्यूस इम्प्रूवमेंट आपका एक छोटे से यूनिट में सब टास्क किसी को या छोटे से बिजनेस प्रोसेस को इम्प्रूव करना है एंड इट इज डन बाई द वर्कर्स दम सेल्स ठीक है बी पी आर में ऑन द अदर हैंड देर इज अ कंसल्टेंट और आई टी स्पेशलिस्ट और सिस्टम एनालिस्ट दैट इज कमिंग फ्राम आउटसाइड द कंपनी हु इज इन्वॉल्व इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ठीक है अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डज इट्स बिजनेस उसके बिजनेस प्रोसेस समझने की कोशिश करता है एंड इट क्वेश्चन द फंडामेंटल रूल्स के फलान रूल जो उसमें यूज हो रहा है वो क्यों यूज हो रहा है और किस रूल को उन्होंने बेसिकली तोड़ के चेंज करना है एंड ऑल्सो अगैन वेन यू आर इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द बिजनेस प्रोसेस री इंजीनियरिंग द कंपनी गोज थ्रू अज चेंज सो इम्प्लीमेंटिंग दैट चेंज हैंडलिंग दैट चेंज प्लानिंग फॉर दैट चेंज इज एक्सट्रीमली इम्पॉर्टेंट हेयर जब तक वो इस चीज को हैंडल नहीं करेंगे कंपनीज के दे हैव टू हैंडल दिस चेंज दैट द रेडिकल चेंज जो है वो एट टाइम्स बहुत डिस्ट्रप्टिव हो सकता है दैट कैन बी हाईली रिजिस्टेड अपॉन इज वेल नाउ चेंजेस आर एक्सेप्टेड इवन इफ ओनली इफ द यूजर आर सेटिस्फाइड विद द टेक्नोलॉजी दैट इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड एंड इफ द टेक्नोलॉजी इज बींग एक्सेप्टेड सो दिस इज वट वी गोइंग टू डू नाउ इज दैट user satisfaction and technology acceptance basically relates to the information information system ke attitudes and usage ko theek hai this basically relates to how the uh, management or the employees are going to perceive the information systems and how they are going to use it and user satisfaction when you talk about that 
greatly depends on the quality of the system and information. Quality of the system means that how good is the system working and how good is the information it is producing. How valuable is the information here? Again, this is a concept that we did in chapter 1 that information has to be valuable. Or valuable mein humne kya bola tha? that it has to be accessible, flexible, efficient, timely, accurate, re relevant. So these are the properties of the information system that make it valuable. Agar to system is tarah ki information nahi provide kara, that means the users are, are not satisfied with the information that it is producing. Then, usko measure ka nekliya, there is a technology acceptance model that refers to the factors that lead to better attitudes about the information system and higher acceptance and uses of the information systems. That means that aapka jo system use or asme teen char cheeze aan jati hain that a system that is being used in the implemented into the uh, organization is it easier to use? Is it of quality? Theek hai? Uski jo uh, to uh, implement calm, is it of any usefulness or not? Okay? So the ease of use, the quality of information and the usefulness of the system is highly important uh, for the users to accept it and for the users to be satisfied with it. When we talk about the technology acceptance that how do we uh, measure the technology Number one is the technology diffusion. That means how widely technology is spread throughout the organization. Kaise hum define karenge technology jo hai, accept ho gaya agar wo throughout the uh, organization use ho rahi hai. Okay? Dusra is technology infusion. That means it's the extent to which te technology is absorbed into the department. That means a top level ke upar technology ni use ho rahi balke under tak employees operational level ke employees sub log usko ek proper tarike se use kar rahe hain so infused basically means ke jaise ke uh, unhone technology ko apne andar absorb kar liya so this is the these two things basically define ke aapka kis tarah accept ho raha hai uh, technology so with this thing most of the companies hope theek hai they dream and they wish that the high level of diffusion the high level of infusion, the satisfaction, the user satisfaction and technology acceptance would lead to greater pro performance and profitab profitability. That means, if the technology is diffused in an organization, infused within the departments and the users are satisfied with it, that means the uh, information that is being created uh, is the system is working in a proper manner. The information that is created from it is useful, is valuable, whether the system is easier to use. Okay? All these th things have a high impact on the performance of the information systems within an organization and its usage. Okay? Information system ki usage is better when all of these things are happening in the organization. And by this I mean that these things may happen in an organization. Zuri nahi hai ki wo sara kuch implement ho ra. Right ji? Let's talk about it again that when we're talking about user satisfaction and technology acceptance, to do teen cheeze are very important. Number one, system aapka sahi kaam kara. Thik hai? It's a valuable system. The information that it's creating is valuable. The, the system that is, that is implemented here is easier to use. It's not that complicated. Thik hai? and it is useful for the organization. If it is implemented in the organization which the user perceives that it is not useful for him, hai, that means that that system has a problem there. Then. Or the problem is that the user has not been trained in the way that the user has not been trained in the way that the system is useful for the system. So these things, in, in, including the diffusion and infusion, are very critical to the working of the information system in an organization. Also, it's very important that the organization and the top level management supports the system. Okay? Sirf ye nahi ki employee ka usage uh, unko aana chahiye, balke top management ka bhi isme bhoot crucial role hai, they have to accept the system as well.
Okay, that's why when we are talking about uh, complete changes in the organization, complete changes in the business processes, when we talk about the information system implementation in an organization, then we talk about the people in the organization as well and say that employees, like middle management, like senior management, everybody has to be involved in the creation process of the information systems. They're all stakeholders in the business and their acceptance of the technology is very crucial to the success of the technology and that the technology will be productive for the businesses. With this we end our lecture. Uh, in lecture mein we studied about uh, the different uh, organizations, organization structures, kya hota hai, organization culture, kya hota hai, organization change. Kya hota hai. We said that all these things, organization structure and the organizational culture have an impact on the kind of information systems being used in an organization and how they will be used in, an, in a certain organization. Also, we talked about the business processes in the organization. We said that a certain business process that is being used has to be questioned about its fundamental rules that a certain business process to have who use or as business may and there are certain changes uh, that have that the organization has to go through and those changes are either radical in the form of business process re-engineering or they have to be continuous improvement that depend on a certain product or a service or a certain subunit they can gradually improve the system. But the key point here is that change has to be managed, the change has to be handled and implemented in a proper manner so that organizations are able to accept the, use, uh, the new technology that is coming into the system rather than resist it. Next chapter, next uh, lecture, mein, we're going to study about the different kinds of uh, information systems that are used at the different levels in an organization. Either they, they are happening at the management level or at, or at the uh, enterprise level. So we'll meet uh, in the next class with the new topics of the types of information systems. Thank you very much.